Hi guys! Hi. So, my name is Tiffany. I'm Sean. And today is our two year anniversary. And so we decided that we're gonna film this video to start off my channel again and introduce, get a look, uh, I guess, introduction of ourselves. And I guess the start of our, I wanna like call it like our daily like live journal, something like that, not daily. Weekly. Yeah, at least Five once. Weekly. Yeah. The goal is once a week, but then that could, we'll yeah. But I want, I've always wanted something that I can look back on and just kind of be like, as the years progress, it's something we can look back on and watch and just reminisce. So, anyways, we're gonna get started. Like I said, it's our two year anniversary today, July 1st. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. We have the questions for the 2018 boyfriend slash girlfriend tag. There's like a hundred questions, so we're just gonna pick a few to just do. 10. Okay, maybe we'll not 10. 10. The usual is like 30, so. 30? Okay. So we'll see, we'll 15. see. Wow. We'll start with 15. Okay, so, um, we'll go like every other, like we'll both answer, but like the main person will answer first. So I'm gonna ask you a question first. Okay. Um, when did we meet and where? Ooh, April at school, and it was English. Okay, yes, so we met back in April two, two years, years ago. ago when we both were in nursing school. He's still in it, I'm not. So we met because we had all the same classes, but I guess our first class together was English, but we didn't really like talk. And speech. Yeah, and then like right after the same day, we had speech in the afternoon together, so. Yeah. Anyways, that's true. Um, number, oh, so I guess it's just, yeah. If you don't like the question, just go down to another, I guess. So it's like a hundred. Where slash when was our first kiss? When slash where? <laughs> Our first kiss was back at my apartment. Um, when slash where? And where at the apartment? In my room, in my apartment, on my bed. Um, back <laughs> in June of what? What year are we? June of 2016. Um, I want to say like June 4th or June 7th, one of those. Um, but yeah, we had my first kiss back at my old apartment. Facts. Yeah, I remember everything. He knows I have a good memory too. <laughs> Who said I love you first? I did. Yes, he did. That was like probably one of still one of my favorite stories to tell. Um, do you want to say how it is? I know. So we had a long day watching our godson her her godson and we were going to the store to get some margarita mix and I was dropping her off, I was gonna park. Cause he wasn't and... 21 at the time. Anyways. Yeah, he um, wasn't. I was though. So yeah, I am Dropped her off at the front, opened the door and she's like, do you need anything else? And I was like, no, I'm okay, love you. And it actually slipped out. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I didn't mean to do that. And, and I was she completely didn't say, caught off guard. She didn't say I love you or anything back. She was just like, in shock. Stared and shut the door. I was like, I didn't, I was caught off guard, wasn't sure if I thought I heard the right thing, and I didn't know how to respond, so I just shut his truck door and, and she didn't went say in the store. For at least an hour. Yeah, I got the stuff, and went I back either. to my apartment. Yeah, he didn't say anything either. And after he made the margaritas, we were chilling in my room watching TV, and he looks said, over at no, me. Oh, no, I looked over. Said, so, so you love me? You love me? Yeah. So that, that was our I love, first oh, I love fine. you story. So, I love it. I love telling it. It's so cute. Definitely caught off guard. I mean, we both were totally feeling it. Yeah, I did say that I loved him back too because I did, just so you know. I didn't leave him hanging. Only for a few hours. Hmm. Okay, baby, go. Uh, what is the one thing you wish I didn't do? One thing I wish you didn't do. I love you, but there's quite a few sometimes. Okay. But I can't say like my number Just one because I can't like pick it, so I'll pick one out of the random. I'd say something that I wish that you didn't do was or is. Okay. Oh, okay. One thing that I wish that you didn't do, but I love you and I, I deal with it, is he shakes a lot. 
like a lot not all the time but like a good amount of the time especially his so his leg his leg will shake and either we're sitting at a table on the couch or something like just sometimes it starts to affect me and once I notice it I have to like put my hand on his leg and say stop hmm. but I know he can't help it it is what it is no. I love him so I deal with it but if I had that choice you know it does sometimes I'm like ah okay next um Mm. When did you meet my parents? Um, like June of 2016. You, I think you, I know you met my dad right off the bat. We went to go get like Thai June. food. Yeah. But I don't remember when you met my mom for the first time. It was like a month after that. Yeah, I know you met my dad first. Yeah. And we got Thai food in the valley, so that was cool. I was nervous, but it went great. What you're afraid of? Snakes. He does not like snakes. He will not do snakes, and I totally understand why. Because they freak me out too. They have no legs. And it's true. I hate snakes. Yeah, but I mean, I know if it came down to it, he would rescue me maybe from a snake. I'd like to hope and think so. But I know he doesn't do snakes. Maybe. Okay. Mm. What would I eat every day if I could? Hmm. <sighs> Sushi. That is true. Or... I do love sushi. Mm -hmm. Or Thai food. I'm not Thai, by the way, but I love Thai food. Even more than Filipino food. It's sad to say, but I do. Yeah, sorry, Thai food's pretty bomb. <laughs> But I do love sushi. Filipino food's bomb too. Yeah, I, he's definitely a lover of Filipino food and I'm thankful. Um, but he doesn't like sushi, so I don't get to eat sushi as much. Because it's just not, yeah. it's not the same. You know, like you go to out go out to eat sushi and only one of you eats like the all you can eat and he gets like the teriyaki chicken and goiza or whatnot and it's just not the same. Yeah. I would spend hours on like. Spend hours on? Yeah. I know you'd spend hours like at the gym. You kind of already do. Or you could spend hours like going through or looking at baseball cards. All facts. All facts. Or uh, like tonight earlier, he was drawing. So I guess those are like my top three. Who are my sports? Who is my sports team or sports team? New York Giants, LA Dodgers. Yes. Yes, so I am a New York Giants football fan. I'm not from New York, but they are my team. And I am an LA Dodgers fan because I am from by LA. Well, yeah, by association because he's like a huge Dodger fan, but also we're from LA, so that's how that goes. And those are like the two only sports that I actually follow. <laughs> Baby Groot. You we have a visitor. <laughs> so, fun fact, Sean and I love Guardians of the Galaxy. We love Baby Groot. And we were at Target one day and we saw this huge Groot. And he put it in the cart and then we had to get it. So he's massive, but we love him. Yeah, and I was the pushing costume. him around like a kid. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, I guess baby fever's real. <laughs> like, ah! What talents of mine do you love? Talents. I love, he doesn't, he says he doesn't hear it, but I love his voice. I love how he sings. I love the rasp in his voice. It's raspy but soothing at the same time. I love that his, your talent and competitiveness because you always shine. Like even though it's the first time you've done it, it amazes me. Like I already know he's gonna do really good at it. And I love how his talent is he can eat so much but yet like never puts on weight like jealous. I do. I do put on weight. <laughs> but he can work it off so fast, just like that. Alright. Oh, it's my turn. My turn. What is my best personality trait? 
best personality trait. Mm -hmm. What describes the personality? I don't know, like if you describe someone like, if like, oh, you get along with my girlfriend because she's X, Y, and Z. Or like she loves X, Y, and Z. Well, I love that you're outgoing because I'm not as outgoing. So. I'm a people person. Yeah, I wouldn't be. When I want to be, I can be a homebody, loner feel like when I just need space. But like, I wouldn't go out of my way to meet new people. Yeah, no, like I, I when I am out though, I love to meet new people, yeah, that's talk. True. I'm very social. And yeah, if you guys see the reflection on my glasses, the TV is behind us, and there's like a, a slideshow of like flowers and plants in the background, so you can probably see the glare in my glasses. It's cool. <laughs> Go okay. ahead, babe. Uh, what is the first thing that I do in the morning? Poop. Grab his phone, poop, poop. Grab his phone, <laughs> they go back to pooping. One or the other, usual. Uh, what man doesn't poop first thing in the morning? Does your man poop every morning? One that's backed up. <laughs> okay, doesn't TMI, baby. Okay, TMI. Mm. What can you do to lift my spirits on a day that I'm feeling really low? I guess things that you know that'll make me happy or cheer me up. Leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I'm angry at you. I um, want you to leave me alone or frustrated at you. But like in general, overall, I know you know this. You know I know this? Yeah. Why do you know Because I'm always this? in a mood and you always know how to make me feel better. I don't know. I'm just silly. Well, yeah. A silly goofiness. You really don't know. DJ Max Home Goods and <laughs> Marshalls. Yeah, that's right. Like, uh, take me shopping or let me go shopping and don't I like to me. wish it was me, but <laughs> it's not. That's like every girl's happy place. Like, ideally, just leave me alone, give me my space, and let me go to those places without interruption or being rushed because I hate being rushed. But yeah. But right. I mean, I love your goofiness too. Love you. I love you too. Okay. What is my weird behavior? What is not his weird behavior? <laughs> he uh -huh. makes random noises, like, at random times. And they're not just like, you know, like a weird noise. They're just like bizarre out there, like what the hell kind of noises. But I love it. He always keeps it fun and fresh. I'm more, I guess. By the books. By the books. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, like, when it comes to I'm more, like, uptight. Yeah, I'm more uptight. I gotta, you know, loosen up every now and then. But he, like, makes that, like, more re more comfortable for me. So he's definitely given me, like, he's made me branch out of my shell more than I would have just being on my own. Just be you. Yeah, he really you tries. Stop worrying about what others think. He really tries to tell me that all the time, so. It's more fun that way. Yeah. We balance each other out though. We're like yin and yang. My Your turn. turn. See? Okay. If we got married someday, where would you take me for our honeymoon? Honeymoon. I don't even know if we've actually we talked, about, talked about honeymoon. We've talked about marriage and all of that, like where we'd want to have it. And How about the Carib Caribbean? That's where you'd want to take me? Or are you asking me? Both. I'm not opposed. I or feel like uh, Italy. I mean, the, like uh, ocean or like Greece. Yeah, I was thinking Greece. Yeah, I think that'd be beautiful. Nice, nice house right on the water. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do Greece. <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay. So we're gonna wrap it up with like about like, let's say like five more questions. Yeah. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> What is the craziest thing I have ever done? Like being with me or in your whole life that you've told me? I don't know. It's up to you. The craziest thing. Wow. That put me on the spot, why don't you? Mm. I 
Well, right now that's like popping into my head. I'm like thinking of like you like booking it or like almost grabbing that snake. Like booking it when you were younger. When you either when you were with your mom or when the snake was like wrapped around on the fence and you guys are like booking it from the snake or you like almost like going near it, stepping on it. Yeah. No? Like that's the first thing that popped in my head. You're making me look bad. <laughs> Skip that question. Alright. Yeah. Ready? You're making me look bad. Are you gonna round two? Yeah. Okay. What was the answer out. though to that one? Um, See, you don't even know your answer, so I could say mine is like, nah. That was the first thing that popped in my head. Which kind of music do I like most? Classic rock. All the way. Pink Floyd. Yeah. Led Zeppelin. We love listening to rock and country. Those are like our two go-tos. But if I had to say he's more classic rock and I'm more... Modern rock. Yeah, but I love modern rock too. Yeah, he like he does that. I do enjoy classical rock, in rock. All rock and roll. But we have we had to be specific. Like he's definitely more classical than I am. Yeah. Um, what is my weird behavior? Like I know I'm a little. I may be a little bit more OCD. Okay, just say it right there. Okay. Like crazy, cleaning yeah. lady. I am OCD. Everything has to be perfect. She already knows if someone even touched something and it moved. Not even a full centimeter. Which works because I'm the clean, organized planner one, and he's more like the go with the flow, like free spirit kind of person. So we kind of we balance each other out. It works. We got three more questions, guys. Three more. Ooh, okay. Describe me in three words. Three words. Okay. He always keeps giving me hard ones. Okay. Good ones. Yeah, but then I feel like there's a right answer, but I guess it's just my, like, answer. Like, Your perspective. Yeah, that's the word that I was looking for. Okay. So three words that describe you. Let's see what it is. Passionate. Driven. Free spirit. That's forward. I'm <laughs> Oh, that'd be like courageous. Just messing with you. I'll okay. take it. Okay. What drink do I always order? And I'm gonna go with. From where? In general, hold on. But I'm not gonna go with alcoholic beverages because I'm not one. I don't drink as much as I used to when I was younger. I'm more of a wine. Con, con, see, what is the word when you love? We want to see what. Yeah, that one. See, this is why I need him because he's my. I, I don't know. I suck. But yeah, so throwing out wine in general, I guess. Just say like, what drinks do I always order? Well, if it's from In and Out, it's an iced tea <laughs> with Splendas. Yeah. And if it's from McDonald's, it's the orange Fanta. No, the high C. That's what I meant, the high C. And you, now you just Not put me on blast that I love McDonald's. I do. It is what it is. Um. But yeah, he's right though. I typically, like drink wise, I will always get like an iced tea with Splenda. Or water with lemon. Mm hmm Or coffee. Yeah. Okay, this will be the last question, baby. You gotta pick a good one to end our anniversary night video. What's it gonna be? Was slash is my favorite subject in school. Really? You're gonna end with that kind of question? Okay, what is slash was your favorite subject in school? Other than it being like some sort of physical activity, I would say you love science. Because, yeah, I remember back in chem lab, or micro, like you're so curious, like he barely has that curiosity or that mindset. So like, to him, that's the most baffling, amazing thing ever. So, yeah, my little genius. 
so you guys thanks for watching our two-year anniversary boyfriend girlfriend tag get to know us the start of our new journal video diary whatnot um like we were saying in the beginning we are going to try to at least post one video a week um it'll be a good week if i can say two but not making any promises and i hope you guys enjoy watching us and we will see you in our next video bye bye